Hi, I'm Steve Mathis, Transworld Motocross Editor-at-Large. With the advent of four strokes, what we've been finding out at the local tracks is these things love to eat chains and sprockets. Just the torque of the bikes, the horsepower of these machines cuts through the average aluminum sprocket and chain pretty fast. So this week on the Transworld Motocross How To presented by Bike Bandit, we're going to put on a Pro Taper rear sprocket, an RK Excel front sprocket, and an RK chain. All on this CRF. Stick around. All right, we removed the guard on the front sprocket. Now, if you don't have air gun or an or electric gun or something of that sort, what you can do is put the bike in gear, have your mom or your buddy step on the rear brake, which we did already, and turn it loose, and that should break the counter shaft off. Just a little tip. After you've broken the bolt loose on the counter shaft, find the master link in the chain and pop that off, like so. All right, I've got the rear wheel off. Now, sprockets can be dangerous on your knuckles and on your hands, so put the wrench on, just uh, break loose, and then break all of the bolts loose first with your foot. All right, the old sprocket is off. We are putting the same amount of tooth of a rear sprocket on, a Pro Taper 48 tooth sprocket. And one thing not to forget, blue Loctite on the sprocket bolts. Very important. Always use blue, don't use red or green. Let's put this thing on. We've got our old chain and our new chain, and we've got this cool RKXL chain breaker. And what we're going to do is, since we're installing the same size sprockets, we can use the old chain and line it up. Well, if you're using different size sprockets, put the new chain on the bike and kind of see where you want to go. But I know, from judging by the adjustment of the old chain, that we're right about in the middle where we need to go. So, you can see down here that I am four links too long. So let's take those out. All right, chain's ready for install. All right, I've installed the counter shaft with blue Loctite on the bolt. And as we don't have any air or electric gun of any sort, I put the bike in gear and that's how I tighten it. And you can hold it down over here and just snug that up pretty much as good as you can. Double check it as well uh, after a couple of rides. And remember, use Loctite. All right, we've got the chain on and I went a little short because it's good on a new chain to go a little short because then it'll stretch and get back to the length you want. So I've had to adjust my chain. I've got it at a somewhat ballpark position. I've got the chain on. When you put the master clip on, always put it away from the direction of travel. Uh, that way, if you hit a rock or you, you get in a rut, nothing's gonna come and, and pop it off. So 
Um, basically, you want to go this way, the opposite of the chain, the way the way, opposite of the way the wheel is going to go. Line it up there. You can use a, a punch or anything. I like just doing it like this, like so. And the master clips on, and uh, no way that it's going to come off and fly off. All right, I put the chain. To give myself an idea of measurement. I put a wrench in the chain. I always like to go back off the back of the swing arm to make sure you're precise. The OEM blockers are not always correct. And by my measurement, 9.2 millimeters. So we're good there. Simply uh, take the chain off and you want to uh, take the wrench out I should say. Tighten up your adjusters. Really you're looking for ideally, on a Honda it can be a little tighter because of the linkage and the shock position, but ideally you're looking for three fingers on top of the rubber and you should be pretty good. And like I said, this being a new chain, this will stretch pretty quickly. Probably need about two or three adjustments and you should be good. There you have it. Chains, sprockets, everything you need to go riding. That's been this week's Transworld How-To presented by Bike Bandit. Brap.